top 10 deadliest and biggest volcano eruptions. Lava? Right here in LA? Imagine waking up one morning to hot lava waiting to devour you. With volcanoes, that could be a reality. Volcanic eruptions can wipe out entire cities, change the temperature of the world as a whole, and wreck economies. They have the potential to unleash toxic gases, crushing mud flows, suffocating ash, and rivers of molten lava that cause damage for years to come. Welcome back to Volcano Now. Let's take a look at 10 of the world's most catastrophic volcanic eruptions. Before we move on, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell icon for more updates on all of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, we have the Santa Maria in Guatemala, October 25th, 1902. The Santa Maria volcano did not erupt for many centuries, if not millennia. That is, until a string of earthquakes in the Central American region in 1902 triggered a significant eruption. At least 5,000 people had died in the eruption. However, many think that the number is overstated. Over the course of 19 days, the eruption generated a column that was 28 kilometers tall and 5.5 kilometers cubed of pyroclastic debris. Number 9. Mount Vesuvius in Italy, 79 AD. Throughout human history, Mount Vesuvius has erupted multiple times, but the gruesome eruption in 79 AD is the most well-known. The neighboring cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum were entirely buried on August 24th when Vesuvius erupted, spewing ash, mud, and deadly fumes. 16,000 people died in the eruption. The cities weren't unearthed and rediscovered until 1595. Today, the cost of a similar eruption would be in the multi-billions. Number 8. Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines in 1991 The second largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century was that of Mount Pinatubo. The volcano erupted on June 15th and had an ash cloud ascended 35 kilometers into the sky. Global temperatures fell due to the eruption's large pyroclastic flow avalanches and over 20 million tons of SO2 thrown into the stratosphere. Although just 722 individuals died in the explosion, more than 200 people were left homeless. Over $200 million was spent on this eruption. Number 7. The Nevado del Ruiz in Colombia in 1985 Nevado del Ruiz, a stratovolcano in Colombia, has a history of producing destructive volcanic mudflows from a very small volume of eruptions. 636 people were killed in a lahar that swept across the River Guali and the River Lagunillas Valley in 1595. Over 1,000 people were killed in 1845 when a massive lahar swamped the River Lagunillas' upper valley. Before spreading across a plain in the lower valley floor, it proceeded downstream for another 70 kilometers. The new settlement of the Armero directly covered the 1845 mudflow deposit. Armero became a thriving community with approximately 27,000 residents throughout the succeeding years. On November 13, 1985, a new eruption and a fatal lahar swept down the river Lagunillas for the third time in 400 years repeating history. Number 6. Mount Unzen in Japan, 1792 A severe landslide and a tsunami were caused by the Mount Unzen eruption of 1792, a volcanic explosion on Mount Unzen in western Kyushu in Japan. The calamity has resulted in an estimated 15,000 fatalities, making it the deadliest volcanic eruption in Japanese history. On Japan's Shimabara Peninsula, east of Nagasaki, several composite volcanoes make up Mount Unzen. In 1792, there was a significant volcanic eruption in this area. A landslide from the Mayuyama Peak, a 4,000-year-old lava dome rising above the city of Shimabara, was caused by a substantial earthquake after an initial eruption. Now at number 5, we have Ilopango, El Salvador, 450 AD. 
The second largest volcanic explosion in the past 200,000 years was the first known eruption of Ilopango, which occurred in the 450 AD. It's believed that several Mayan cities were devastated by this enormous eruption. For more than a year, ash and dust covered the skies. Up to 100,000 people may have lost their lives in the explosion, and over 400,000 people may have been displaced. Crop failures in Rome to China were caused by the global chill that occurred in 535 to 536 AD and is believed to be its origin. Number 4. Mount Pelly in the Caribbean in 1902 one of the worst eruptions in recorded history was the Mount Pelé eruption in 1902, which occurred on the island of the Martinique in the Lesser Antilles volcanic arc of the Eastern Caribbean. On April 23rd, a series of phreatic explosions from Mount Pelé's peak signaled the start of eruptive activity. The intensity of the explosions quickly surpassed anything seen on the island since European settlers arrived. After that, the intensity decreased for a few days until the beginning of May, when the explosions picked back up. The eruption clouds were laced with lightning and the trade winds blew ash into communities to the west. A lot of ash fell, occasionally resulting in complete darkness. Some affected locals became frightened and fled to larger towns, particularly Saint-Pierre, located approximately 10 kilometers south of Palais' top. Number 3. Lackey, Iceland in 1783. During the eight-month-long Lackey eruption, approximately 14 cubic kilometers of basaltic lava and some tephra were produced. Syria and Iceland both reported haze from the eruption. In Iceland, the haze caused crop failure due to acid rain, the death of one-fourth of the population due to starvation, and most of the island's cattle lost due to eating fluorine-contaminated grass. Ben Franklin made a note of the eruption's effect on the atmosphere. The eruption is thought to have generated 80 mt of sulfuric acid aerosol. The Lackey eruption has had impressive climactic impacts. Number 2. Krakatoa in Indonesia in 1883 One of the most violent eruptions in modern human history, the Indonesian volcano Krakatoa utterly destroyed the island on which it's located. The volcano's walls were shattered by a series of enormous eruptions early on August 27th. The final eruption of Krakatoa was four times more powerful than the biggest bomb ever dropped by humans. Its radio waves circled the world seven times. It caused a string of tsunamis that wreaked havoc on the area, killing 36,000 people and wiping out entire villages. The eruption cost has been as high as 1.5 billion dollars. And finally, Mount Tambora in Indonesia in 1815. With up to 120,000 fatalities, Mount Tambora is the deadliest eruption in recent human history. Tambora erupted on April 10, 1815, spewing 40 kilometers of volcanic ash into the sky. The explosion was the most intense explosion in the past 500 years. A string of enormous tsunamis was produced due to the pyroclastic flow's force when it entered the ocean. Global crop failures were caused by the massive amount of SO2 released, which also caused a sharp drop in global temperature. While typhus swept over Europe, thousands of people in China died from starvation. A bonus to our list is the Galunggung in Indonesia, 1882. The active stratovolcano Mount Galunggung is located in West Java in Indonesia, around 25 kilometers to 80 kilometers southeast of Bandung, the provincial capital of West Java. The Sunda Arc, formed by the subduction of the Australian plate beneath the Eurasian plate, includes Mount Galunggung, Sumatra, Java, and the Lesser Sunda Islands. On February 12th of 2012, the status was elevated to alert based on the improvements in conditions, marking the first time since 1982 that this has ever happened after eruptions ended and the situation appeared to be expected. And that is all for today, so thank you very much for watching Volcane Now, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay up to date. Make sure to check out similar videos from our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.